How goes it, everybody? My name is Howitzer, and welcome back to SnowRunner. And today we have this one, the ULM PD Belt 379 NRS. Now, your local miner brings us this one, and he says that it's like the uh, the sibling to the original PD Belt. Now, I remember the name, but I don't quite remember it having rear steer. Obviously, this one is no rear steer, as it says NRS, but I do remember it being a fucking awesome mod. So I'm, I'm hoping that this one is going to be damn near the same. And I got a new microphone too. So hopefully, hopefully my voice sounds real nice and professional. I'm still fucking with settings, so it probably doesn't sound very good anyway, but let's move on and see what we can actually do to this thing. All right, for engines, he's got a lot of different engines to choose from. But he has an OP engine, so I, if you know me, I'm going to choose the OP one. Gearbox, looks like he's got the Eaton full 8, 9, 10, 13, and then special. Well, let's go all the way. Let's go to let's go with 13. Suspension. Oh, Jesus. Hello. He's got the suspension for the heavy crane. He's got an active, a stock, and then another active. Let's go with the bottom active once. I think that one's gonna be like a little more uh, forgiving. It's gonna be a little more bouncy. Let's let's give that one a shot. Cause I think the other active is a little more stiff, but I'm not exactly sure. Tires, oh my God, he's got a lot of tires. Okay, after going through his list, I think I'm gonna go with the 51 inch all T wide two cheaters. Let's give those a shot once. He does have a, quite a few options to choose from. They all look pretty good, but let's try this one once. Winch, you got some different winches you can do, but I think the one that he's got on it is gonna be good enough, so we'll just keep it that way. Snorkel, you got air cleaner one, and air cleaner two. Let's go with number two. Ram add-ons. Oh, there's that big heavy crane. I think he's mostly got you know, like regular add-ons. I don't think there's like anything special with this one. Yeah, nothing special. But we'll just do the flatbed for now. We'll just keep it simple. Visuals. We got gauges. We got different color gauges you can put in it. Well, I'll leave that alone. Rooftop, you could put the flasher bar up there if you want to. Dashboard, you can do wood or carbon fiber or diamond plate. I'll leave that alone. You can put the little fan up there. <laughs> you can change out the gear shift if you want. Looks like you can put different lights on it. Yeah, lights all over the place you can put on this thing. I guess you can take the windshield out if you want to. <laughs> Front bumper, got bumper one that comes with the truck. We got winch pipe, heavy duty, and stock. See now, I would do one of these bumpers because they look fucking kick ass on this truck, but I wish it was like chrome or painted or, you know, I wish you could do something with the actual in-game bumper like that. We'll just keep it the stock bumper because I love that flat, flat steel kind of chromed look. Oh, it's, it goes with the rest of the truck, you know? Miscellaneous, you can, <laughs> you can put put the little teeth on the grill. Yeah, why not? I suppose you can take uh, uh, you can take like the air tank off and stuff like that. You can put different color lights on the roof. I'll actually do lights up there. Uh, you can remove the engine cover. You can put rear fenders on it. So you know, those look really good. You can put beacon and fog lights or fog lights. You can put the horns up there. I'll actually do that. You can put the oversized load sticker on it. You can even put the sleeper cab on if you want. That looks really good, actually. You can put the visor on. I'll do that. You can put the little turbo wing. I will do that, too. Kind of dresses it up a little bit, you know? Exhaust, you got exhaust one that are, I can't really quite get them in frame. 
There you go. You got to get down low. But they're tall. Now you got exhaust two, three, which are kind of shorties. Looks like you got the four that are kind of rolled back. Where do you got the painted ones? I think I'll go with the talls. Or no, I'll, I'll keep actually keep it the way that it was. So you got the green, or the, the you know the purple that the truck comes with, and you got like the green. I'm not sure exactly what's going on in that paint scheme there. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to tell. It's hard to see. But you know he's got. I mean he's got a lot of different colors to choose from. So I'm actually going to keep it the purple. I actually don't mind the purple. I think it looks decent. Well, you can do bobbleheads and hood ornaments and all sorts of other things, I guess. But let's go see how this does. I imagine that it's going to be pretty decent. I, If I remember the PD built right, it was a really, really good mod. So this thing shouldn't be much different from that, right? I guess we'll find out. Well, I mean, this thing does look pretty fucking cool, even with just the day cab on it. I bet even the sleeper looks even better. Look, take a look on the inside. I'm not sure it does look like a semi truck, don't it? Hell yeah. Ooh, she sounds ready to fucking go, too. All right, let's go then. Uh, diff lock is on all the time. That's nice to see. It will pull all the big boy trailers, which obviously I would hope it would. Oh! That's going to be like that, huh? Oh, did I just Austin Powers the fucking truck? Oh, Jesus Christ. I did. <laughs> God damn it. All right, there we go. Wow. That was a uh, that was pretty bad. Let's keep going here. Put it in all wheel drive. Oh god, right through here. Not a fucking care in the world. Jesus. Oh, yeah. All right, that's 13th gear. Let's see how it does through Swampy Town. Oh, this thing's flying through here. Oh, boy. It's running 13th gear, actually. Pretty decent. Comes a deeper water. Oh my god, not a care in the world. Over the down trees. Oh wait a minute, this is an active suspension. So I can get that body up just a little higher. Right through the deep spot. Not even it barely even slow down. My god. This thing flew through there. That was really good. Oh, 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 just skim the pole. Oh, God, I'm all over the place. Oh, Jesus. Right through the river. Not a fucking care. This thing is crazy. That was really good. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go do some other stuff, I guess. Yeah. Oh, God. Slow down. Oh, brakes work really good. Let's uh, see how it does a little bit of rock climbing once. If we don't get ooh, high centered. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we can get up over here once. Ooh. Can we get up the rock? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, almost, almost high centered it there. Oh yeah. This thing's a rock climbing machine. The low gear is nice and tame in this thing too. Let's see, let me let me get this thing turned around. It's this is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. Okay, well what do you think? I know it'll definitely walk it, but I just don't think that's a Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, maybe not. Oh no. Well, the front end just needs to pull the truck forward just a little more. Just enough to catch that tire on that rock. Oh, oh, oh boy. There we go. <laughs> it wants to do it so bad. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, these tires are absolutely freaking nuts. I think we should go straight. Oh, I just ruined the suspension. And that pretty much leaves the truck undrivable. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the ass later on. Uh, but let's go do a, a speed test quick. Let's see if we can get all 13 gears here. Come on. 13. Oh, she's a big girl, but I would I would say she's a jumper. Wasn't the as fast as I wanted it to, but it did it pretty well. Let's go straight into uh, pulling a trailer. So we'll see how it does that once. All right. I went with the uh, heavy duty low boy. We got the Kitty 680 up there. Let's go see how it does this. Now, I changed out the transmission for the, the Eaton 8. Because I, I don't need 13 gears. <laughs> That's a that's a little fast to be pulling a trailer. So we'll see how this one does. And, I, and how much it searches for gears. I hope it's not too bad. Oh, I put the uh the uh the, the heavy duty suspension on too. The, the heavy crane suspension. I mean I I think we did most of that hill in 8th gear. So this thing makes oodles of power. I suppose if you choose the right engine. And the, the only thing that sucks is the steering. Oh boy. Ah! The steering is quite slow. I can't seem to <laughs> point the truck in the right direction fast enough sometimes. This thing's doing amazing. I don't think this is an active suspension. No, it is not. So I think you would have to be quite careful about smashing that front end. But I think that's going to be your only problem if you if you have one. It's just bashing that front end into a mounds of dirt and stuff like that. Oh, this thing's just doing amazing. I mean, we're in eighth gear right now. This thing doesn't give a shit. Oof. I'm really, really worried about ruining the suspension because I don't... I don't have any repair parts with me. And, the, and from what I've seen, <laughs> it seems like the truck is damn near undrivable when you ruin the suspension. So, we're going to try it. Whoop. 
We're going to try and take the corner a little wide here. And we're going to see if we can get up the hill. I think the tires are good enough. Oh, man. It didn't even fucking hesitate. The front end is just a tad light. But this, this is not a light trailer and truck combo here. This, I would say this is fairly heavy, I think. Now I gotta try and fucking turn around. Alright, let's head back down. Now, now we can send it on down the hill. So I got the 605 down here. Oh, yep. Yep. Suspension. Oh, see. I think there would have been a, a lot more carnage if the suspension didn't break. I think that kind of helped us from really screwing up here. Let's fix, this, let's fix this thing up and I'll be right back. All right, we got the suspension all fixed up. Let's continue on our way. So far, this truck is handling this truck and trailer really well. Well, I mean, it, the tires are really good. The durability of the truck, though, that's worrying me. I mean, I suppose I am driving it like a fucking idiot, but... The suspension takes damage so easy. But it... I mean... It is handling it pretty good. There's one more thing I want to do. I want to see just how good these tires actually are. Let's go this way. And we'll see if we can make it through the river. Oh, okay. I, I guess it was, I thought it was gonna be a little harder than that. Uh, uh, it did that actually really well. Right through the little puddle. Not a care in the world. This truck just might pull about anything anywhere you want it to. I really don't have a, a doubt about that. But I have seen all I need to see. Well, that was the ULM PD Built 379 NRS. If I remember right, this is just as good as the original. It it was really good. The model looks amazing. The sleeper cab, everything, it, it makes it look so good. The tires obviously are insane. This is literally a prob a, a go anywhere truck, really. And probably and pull anything. It it'll probably pull anything you want it to. I guess the only limitation is your breakover angle. If you don't have the height, you're probably going to high center it, but it, it seems like as long as you've got a couple tires touching, it's going to pull its way through. But otherwise, this thing is really good. Oodles of power. Oodles of traction. Oodles of appearance. It's good. It's a good mod. Good job with this one. I didn't mind it. I had fun. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me as well. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.